Welcome to another episode of Saved by Big Bear the Kid. I am your boy, Big Bear the Kid. I'm in this bitch today with my guy DJ Fame, my motherfucking brother. You feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For those who don't know who you are, what's good, man? My bad, what's good, dog? I'm tripping like I'm a fucking... Chilling, chilling. <laughs> That's I'm what's up. DJ Fame, you know what I'm saying? Coming out of Corpus Christi, watching my boy Big Bear the Kid. Y'all know what it is. We just, we just trying to put on for the city. We man, that's it. Shit. That's it. For those who don't know who you are, bruh, because we go way back like four flats. For those who don't know who you are, you know what I'm saying, give them a little, a little ski taste of your background, man. Man, I just, I came to Corpus from a lot, uh, from Kansas a long time ago, and I just started messing with the music stuff, and I started, you know, messing with Juju B, Lil Bree, all them found my way with J Love. And yeah. Start coming to all the battle scene and the rapping stuff. It was cool, but it really wasn't for me because I was more on like a R and B tip. You know what I'm saying? Everybody yeah. wanted to be on some thugging, <laughs> and doing this and that. Facts. I was always real big on the R and B, so I was, and I was always that guy that when when it came to the party, I had all the music. Yeah. So I'll come with a little pouch of CD, throw it in, I'll play all the music. I always knew, you know, what was hot. And so finally one day I just said, you know what? Let me go get that little. $120 okay. table and just, you know what I'm saying, try to learn and just, and then it Facts. just took off from that and I fell in love. That's what's up, cause I our show remember them times like, right. nigga, you, we used to be on Hemlock and nigga used to be tearing it up, boy, like, like my dog, you coming through to the spot, you already right. know fame gonna be on the right. ones and twos, it's right. going down. <laughs> we hooked up, we hooked up to come. Sp- Computer speakers. <laughs> we have a house party and we'll be hooked up to some computer speakers. Just Facts. Jamming. Just jamming like a yeah, motherfucker. Yeah. Big vibes, man. That's Big fucking so. vibes. That's so so where, where where do you draw your inspiration from? You feel me? Like, man, who really got me to want to DJ was DJ Dynamite. Oh, D- DJ fact. Dynamite was like the Shout first out to DJ player. Dynamite. Shout, Shout out, out to, to my guy Dynamite. He was the original person that made me want to DJ. And then, it, and then I started grabbing from other places like Dragon. Dragon got me mm. into like the art of DJing, as in the scratching, the complexity, the, That's just everything up. Dragon would do. And then Silk at the same time said, well, don't just be a DJ, you need to pick up that mic, you need to talk. So yeah, I had all these different people just kind of like take me under their wing and say, oh, you need to do this and inspire me. And then it, and then I kind of put my own flavor on it and I did my own thing and, and now we're here now. That's what I'm talking about, man. Shout out, shout out to all them guys. Shout out to uh, DJ Dynamite. I remember, I remember DJ Dynamite uh, when he was working at uh, 102.9, right. right? He would have his own mix show and he would have me come through and I would be on the radio with him. So hey. DJ Dynamite is like really the real reason why I'm I'm here where I'm here. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to my guy. Hey. Uh, I used to I used to host at uh, McCall's with DJ Dragon on some nights. So shout out to DJ Dragon and fucking Silk. Anytime when uh, I, he needed somebody to fill in, I was right there. So shout out to Silk. So shout out to all three of those guys. You know what I'm saying? So you definitely picked the right motherfuckers to draw some inspiration from. Some OG salute to all of them, and they know I, I pay my respect to all of them, and I still talk to them all on a daily, like Dynamite. Can call me anytime. Silk can call me anytime. Dragon can call me anytime. And you know what I'm saying? I, I need to get them on the show. I need to get show. them. Y'all need so to come. Them is OGs. Yeah, them is they need OGs to get on to here. Yes, you so. feel me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So uh, back back to the back to the fucking music and shit. Right. Like during during COVID, what what was Fame doing during this COVID bullshit? During this first wave of quarantine, what was you locked away doing? Was you Learning how to master your craft, you know what I'm saying? Like, was you hustling, grinding, trying to trying to build your clientele for when the when the shit start opening up? Let us know. Give us give us a little insight. Well, basically, I've been in Louisiana for the past like two years because I was working in the refineries and all that. So while everybody was locked up and not doing that, I was still working every day. Facts. I was still working, so I was blessed to say that. But that when I would get home from work, I'm just on my table. I'm, I'm finding new music. I'm learning how to do this. I'm listening to other DJs. I'm trying to figure out what is he doing? How's he doing that? I like that. How can I make it mine? So I really kind of went into like a lockdown mode. And right when I would get off, I'll talk to my daughter. And then boom, I'm, I'm just, I'm trying to figure Thanks. everything out. And I'm trying to get it. Because I know I didn't want to do that forever. I know. 
DJing what I, I wanted to do, but I had to build a cushion because you know how. Yeah. And everything opened back up. I really got on my manifestation shit. You know what I'm saying? The law of attraction. And I said, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I really got deep <laughs> yeah. into it. Like, look, what do you want me to do? If this is what you want me to do, close this door, open this door, and then everything fell into place. And now I'm back in Corpus and I'm doing what I want to do full time and I'm seeing my child. That's that's the most fucking important part. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Um, but one one important thing that I heard you say is that like you had an actual job to 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 at least support to or at least have a cushion, a backup plan to what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? Like your job wasn't like you just didn't get a job and be like, okay, well, damn, I'm gonna level up in this job. I'm gonna stay here for uh, umpteen years and get raises. Nah, like you had a bigger and better plan for yourself. You know what I'm saying? And just like just like me, I had a bigger and better plan for myself too. Like I was working at some places. I'm like damn, dog, do I really want to do this shit? No, I don't want to do this shit. Just so you know what I'm saying. So it, all, all all it takes is just staying positive keeping at it you know what i'm saying taking one step at a time to really accomplish your goal and once you get that opportunity knock that fucking door down capitalize. you know what i'm saying you gotta capitalize and, and my biggest thing was writing everything down just like being obsessive with what i wanted to do because when you become obsessed with it it's a law of attraction you throwing it out there it comes back facts to you. so facts. you got to whatever it is and i'll be around all these guys and they like 35 years old and they look 60 their mm -hmm. bodies all beat up <laughs> all they do is drink and i didn't want to do that you know what i'm saying and i'll ask them like that's the biggest thing that's just asking somebody their experience, asking them what they went through, you will learn so much about somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yep. You'll learn a, a lot about yourself, and you can avoid that. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Big facts. Big so facts. It's, it's, and I would ask them, like, what would you have did different in your life? And, man, I would have chased my dream. And the, the dreams these guys would have, and that they would have all these crazy, cool dreams and all that, but they just get so comfortable with the money and the lifestyle that they end that fuck they it. too old. They can't. Yeah, they can't. fuck it. Nah, not me. Like, nah. Nah, hell no. I got, I gotta have something better. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't just be uh, somewhere where, damn, I have to be here because I have to pay these bills. You know what I'm saying? You can't like, put a price on happiness. Fuck no, you can't. Like, you can. No, nah, I just don't want to be a bag of bones just walking around, <laughs> going through them fucking motions. Yeah. Getting a paycheck every two weeks. Nah, no, 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 no. I want to do what I love because I like to see myself glowing. I like to see myself up. I want to see myself winning. And right. when I'm winning, I feel like everybody else going to win. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Good so um, definitely manifestation and self-awareness and self-love. And you got to put all out that. all that shit go hand in hand, man. All of it going hand in hand. The but energy. Nobody taught us. Nope. That. And it's sad that we had to. We had Nobody to. Taught us. It's sad that we had to fucking go through it on our own, or you know, uh, act like we went through the goddamn trenches or the struggle to to you know right. finally find a new a new new um, perspective on life when when we should have had this think the way of thinking uh, 10, 15 years ago. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just imagine. Just imagine the way. You, if you know now what you knew then, I mean, what you knew back then, shit, who, who knows what, where you could be? You know but what I'm it, saying? In the same time, if you would have capitalized on what you knew back then, you, you would have been in a different spot as you're in right now. Too. Yeah, facts. Because Big we facts. knew some stuff. We wasn't no dumbest, but we just thought we was too young and we didn't know that we were able to do that. Right. Now that we know we're able to do that, if, if you see somebody else doing it, you can do it. Facts. It's that easy. It's that, easy. that right. simple. Just work hard. Keep at it. Keep at it. It's not going to be easy. Sure. Nah, hell nah. not. Nope, not as, at all. As easy it's, as dr dragging, make it look when he back there doing all of that shit is hard. I've been practicing for a long time. It, it, it's not and, easy. And trust me, as easy as it seems that I can just hop on this microphone and talk to talk to the people, nah, bro. That sometimes that shit is, it take time. It take practice. It take. It, it, it's a lot of countless hours in the mirror talking, looking crazy because you, you know what I'm saying? Like, who is you talking to in there? Nigga, I'm talking to myself, trying to hype the crowd up. 
and that crowd is one of one. And that's what I would do. My little, my little way to find my voice was I'll travel from Louisiana back to Corpus Christi to come see my daughter. So I'll make a crazy playlist and I'll just be riding, yelling, hyping the crowd up. I'm in my car, and then eventually I found my voice, and then that's why I was like, okay, now we're working with something. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Now, um, what's what's like one of the biggest biggest fucking crowds you've rocked since uh, since opening back up? I know I know you've been doing your yo 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 sneakative shit while we was locked down, right. but we not gonna get into that. Right. But we gonna speak about what you've been doing since since the motherfucker opened back up. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, like I said, I just got back to Corpus like a couple of weeks ago, so I'm still trying to find my motion and stuff. Of course. You was there for the show. The show was lit with the Erica Banks. Yeah, and hell yeah. That was fun. That motherfucker was and lit. Then, and then I did, uh, I filled in for we Rewind over there as a vibe. And that was crazy. Shh, that's and what's then, up. And then, of course, the bridge. That's my home right there, the bridge. So, you know what I'm saying? Y'all mess with me. The old Infinite, which is now the bridge. We, we so that's where you at? That's where we at. That's where we planning our feet at. You know what I'm saying? The owner, David. He's, he's like family, you know what I'm saying? And I really appreciate him. He he really looking out for me and he's really helping me a lot. So, you know what I'm saying? I gotta, I gotta give back. I gotta give my all. You know That's what what's up. That's what's up. So, um, what nights, what nights are you, uh, spending over there at the bridge? It's right now it's on Thursdays. It's just like a turn up. Just, you know what I'm saying? You want to relax. You had a long day. Come and turn up with us and drink. And then Sundays. As y'all know, we bring them back that R&B storm. And this last one oh, was yeah. crazy. <laughs> we need like that I vibe. said, that R&B, that R&B is like, is second nature. It do something to you. I'm, it do something to you. Man, it look. you feel a type of way. Man, I want look. you to leave that motherfucker <laughs> calling your baby mama crying <laughs> all the way home. You feel me? Yeah. Drinking and driving yeah, like a motherfucker. Like a motherfucker. <laughs> you going to be in that bitch in your feelings. Somebody getting pregnant or hey. somebody getting going down. Hey. That R&B it is something serious and, and, I, and, I, and I take a lot of pride in that on I love that's I love what's up man. I love it that's what's motherfucking up now um shit aside from being a DJ like are you are you like engineering are you recording are you recording artists or are you just you just strictly DJing and scratching the ones and two? Yeah, I'm, I'm strictly DJing right now but I'm with a company called Take Em Out Entertainment we're doing all the shows so basically we're just Figuring out what we can do to put the city on, what what we can do. We're gonna do a lot of stuff. We're bringing a lot of stuff. It's just we getting it all together. But man, it's take them out, Smoke City, Candy Andy, man. They really blessed me, That's getting what's me up. involved. In, That's what's man, up. They're a solid group of people, and man, they got some big stuff coming. Some That's what's up. Corpus, for real. Well, we said we definitely cannot wait for any of that shit to, right. to pop off, cause. If if you was at the Erica Banks B King concert, you know, then then you already know. And um, matter of fact, the the next one that y'all got coming up, uh, the fucking Latin show, Latin the Latin the Latin takeover, that's actually on my birthday. So I'm gonna actually show up and see what's up. You know what's what I'm saying? Up, Turn up and uh, make sure y'all you go get your tickets right now since we speaking about it. ConcreteStreet.net. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, the Latin Takeover, Take Em Out Entertainment, Hot Z95, uh, Frankie J, Baby fucking Bash, Baby Bash, NB Riders. Riders, P3, uh, fucking Drippy Drew. My dog Drippy Drew, look. You know what I'm saying? sleeping on my dog Drippy <laughs> Drew. He's a monster. Y'all check out my dog Drippy Drew. We got all his singles out on YouTube right now. He's going crazy. He's putting a lot of work in, a lot of time into his craft. And- more than anything, I just appreciate someone who got that grind. That's what's it. up. That's I what's up. It. And I, you know what was crazy? I, 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 I ran. Well, well, me and um, Drippy, kind of fucking. I was, I was trying to introduce myself to him, right? Mm-hmm. And he was like, "You know me." I was like, "I ain't never met you before." He was no. like, "Yeah, you know me, but I used to go as Baby Boy." I was right. like, "Oh shit!" That's baby I was like, boy. "Okay." Now I see what's up. Okay, yeah, the the young, my my nigga done young. grown up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, uh, shout out to fucking Drippy Drew. He did kill a show at, at the Beat King and Erica Banks. So, uh, much much success to that brother right there. You feel me? He's been on this grind for a while. Much success to my guy DJ Fame. Man, look, yeah. wait, man, like I can oh, talk no. to you all day, you man. Know, like you, you know. already know what it is, man. You are my motherfucking brother. Man. Shit, um, 
Speaking speaking of the speaking of DJing and shit, like what what's next for you as far as like uh as before before the Latin takeover, do you have anything uh do you have anything coming up? Like do you plan on going live on Facebook on such and such day? Do you plan on, you know, just doing your own shit, putting right. together somebody's birthday bash or Man, I'm, shit I'm, like I'm that? I'm taking booking. I'm taking bookings, you know what I'm saying? We setting up. I'm definitely trying to reach out to the city. I'm trying to get in where I fit in. Of course, Mm -hmm. I've been back only a little bit of time, so I know it's going to take a little time for the name to start bubbling, and it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? It's always like that. When you leave for a long time and you come back, the whole game's different. Yeah. I mean, big facts. definitely, I'm here to feed my daughter, so that's what it's all about. It's about getting out there and doing what I love. Um, of course, Fact. Latin takeovers coming up. You yeah, know, we got to do some stuff. Facebook hate too much. You can't DJ on Facebook. They want to kick you out. Oh yeah, so yeah. I forgot. I Fuck you, Mark Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg. Whatever your fucking name is, they hate a little <laughs> too <laughs> they... much. So I mean, we gonna make it make sense. And Juneteenth coming up, so we got to do something for that. Oh yeah. I got some yeah. ideas put together for a day parties. I got some things put together, like for some theme parties I want to do. So if you're trying to invest in any clubs, any promoters, you got some ideas. Let's let's come together. That's, that's work. Eat. That's let's exactly eat. man. Who's who wouldn't want to eat? Like like it's, it's it's here for us. The city want it. The city want it. But it's, it's here just, for us. We gotta eat, and we gotta eat greedy. You know what I'm saying? But we don't don't be afraid to network though. You know what I'm saying? Don't like, be don't be afraid to fuck with the next person. He right. might have the connections you don't. Right. You might have the connections he lacking. Right. But if y'all come together and, and, and intertwine, that right. motherfucker shit can be so beautiful. And the city need it. We supposed to be, we supposed to be the Miami of Texas. We ride <laughs> on the water. Super big we supposed facts. To be the Miami of Texas. Super big facts. We supposed to Super be big facts. Up. We supposed to be the. We supposed to be lit, and there's no reason why we should. We the home of Selena. We right by the water. Man. We home of the good food. We, man. We all turns up like. We just gotta come together, man. Facts. Big facts. Are you um? Do you have any of your mixes like on SoundCloud, or are you selling any of your mixes like on any streaming uh, man, services, I, or I tried, you're just every I mix tried you do doing exclusive? That and then, uh, you know what I'm saying I had other DJs because I DJ on an app called Bigo as well, so uh-huh. I had DJs spinning my stuff and I'll hear my my, my your DJ drops? fame in the background. I'm like, man, that's not cool. So. Man, catch me in the club. You gotta see me Facts. live. You gotta see me. Live. Don't, <laughs> don't listen to no mix. Yeah. Don't come in the it, back with me. Facts, yeah. yeah, hey, definitely. It's a it's a vibe whenever you on the motherfucking ones right. and twos, right. and shit. I I know for a fact, cause like I said, I've been rocking with you since oh. since motherfucking hemlock since days. The since yeah, at? since I had my motherfucking dreads, dog. I'm, and that's been a minute, right. a minute. You know what I'm hey, saying? And shout out to Muddy, dog. Shout out to my dog. Shout out Muddy Casino. Casino. My dog putting on for the city. I'm so proud of him and what he's doing right now. He's He's really setting the bar, and man, I just, I love it. I love seeing, I love seeing other people be successful. I Facts. love it. It, Facts. Like, it give me a adrenaline rush. Yeah. I, don't know, I just love seeing it, and it's. It costs it's nothing to be, it. not a hater. You know what I'm saying? It, it costs. Cost, it, showing love don't cost no. It money. don't. It don't. It don't. Share, like share, tell your friends. You know what I'm saying? Like a. Give post. motherfuckers they flowers, bro. Yeah. Niggas, niggas be acting too tough around this bitch, like. Give a nigga his flowers while he here. You feel me? And stop fighting in the club. <laughs> Please. Stop fighting in the club. Please. All them women around the goddamn club and y'all want to be fighting this stop shit. Fighting in the club. Chill, bro. Do. It's cool. Wait till Chill. you get outside at least. Because then we got to shut everything down, play some bullshit music. The girls are scared. They hiding in the corner. Stop fighting in the club. Facts, man. Big ass facts. Anytime you got something new coming, uh, yeah. any, any projects, uh, fucking... Artwork, motherfucking shows, anything you got, you want to come through, come talk to me about it. My doors is always open. You know what I'm talking about? It's nothing but love on this end, man. Everything that you do, I wish you the best. Uh, nothing but motherfucking success. Stay, stay on they motherfucking neck. You did. You, you know what I'm saying? You anytime, too anytime, shit. anytime when we get a chance to work together, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be fucking. It's gonna be fucking gonna like be Penny and fucking Shaq. You did. <laughs> Pick and roll. Yeah. Some magic shit. You know what I'm talking about? Um. So y'all make sure y'all catch my guy DJ Fame at the motherfucking um at the at the at the Bridge Club. I was gonna say yeah. social like a motherfucker. Don't do that. No. <laughs> 
don't do that. We not don't, don't do yeah, that. I was getting ready. Uh, I don't think about it. I don't even let people walk in the line, let alone now. Hey. Yeah. Hey, bro. Hey, the new thing is you gotta you gotta pull pull walk out with your thing out now. You know what I'm saying? Pause, no homo. Don't do that either. Don't fight. That's your idea. That shit crazy. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? Like um. Uh, this is your chance to 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 talk your shit. Uh, fucking uh, shout out anybody. Shout out your crew. Shout out uh, anybody you want to. This is the time to get your shit off right Man, now. Like I said, shout out to Take Em Out Entertainment. My motherfucking dog. Shout out to Drippy Drew. Shout out hey. to DJ Dynamite. Hey. Shout out to MC Silk. Hey. Shout out to Dragon. Shout out to everybody doing it. I mean, shout out to Hurricane. Shout out to my dog right here. Just putting on, doing something that nobody in the city has just did in his own flavor. It's just, it's just crazy. I appreciate it. Uh, shout out to Smoke City. Yeah. So Blended. Trap yeah, House. Yeah. Putting out them good meals. Y'all not fucking <laughs> with Trap House. Make sure y'all go to Trap House. Trap House. I remember the first plate I got, I just... I took a bite and I had to stare at it for a minute. I was just like, that shit should really be called Sleep House, nigga. Cause after you eat what? a after you eat a plate, you be ready to go to sleep on the ass. Night <laughs> You got melatonin in the in the in the You be ready to go to sleep on the ass, boy. I'm trying to tell you, man. Uh, uh, let uh, fuck, dog. I forgot to ask about the motherfucking video shoot y'all just did with oh, yeah, uh with DJ with, with DJ Paul, man. How how was that? Before man, we go, how DJ was that? Pa- DJ Paul was man. I didn't realize he was so tall. He tall in the bitch. Like, he was real <laughs> humble. He was cool. He was he was a little reserved at first, but then once everything started going, he really popped the shit and he came. Man, hey, hold on. And shout out to Johnny Mook. That's, That's my what's dog, up. Bro. That's what's up. Shout out to what Johnny up, Mook. Mook. What up, Mook? Yeah, Mook was in there popping the shit. Drew was there. Bonnie was in there going crazy. We had two. Man, it was and Vendetta, bro. I'm telling you, y'all need a crazy video. Y'all got to get with Vendetta. They're just on another level. Shout That's out what's to up. Vendetta. <laughs> yeah, Hell up. yeah. Man, uh, like I said, this is Saved say by Big Better Kid Anytime you got something fucking Popping off, man, come holla at me, man yeah. You already know what it yeah. is Catch my guy DJ Fame At the bridge, you know what I'm saying He'll be spinning at the motherfucking uh, Latin Takeover, August 6th My motherfucking birthday And uh, it's going down You know what I'm saying, check me out on the weekend Wake up show on Saturdays 10 to 2, every Saturday on High Z95 95.5 on your radio And if you ain't by a radio You can download that motherfucking app And if you ain't by the app You can d- listen live at HighZ95.com Don't follow your dreams You gotta chase them motherfuckers AKB forever I love y'all Look, I, I just want to talk to you. Can we talk real quick? I know, I know you in here right now. I just need to talk to you real quick. Y'all coming in? Come and sit down real quick, cause you know. I mean, they cool and all, but ain't none of them niggas like motherfucking DJ Fine. Let's go. <laughs> Use